and a real danger time for the Australians. In fact, it's the second of the second half, isn't it? Yes, Galetti made that very good save. He called upon them to make another one here. That's the first one since then. Mikla. They've broken into the circle again. And again the save! Can the Australians keep it out? Another penalty corner by G. That was real heart-wrenching stuff. Kenny Walker had about four swings and he just couldn't get it away from his feet. Well, he expected he it to it. bounce and it didn't. It sat there on the ground for a good half a second. So Australia lucky to get out of that. Just about be due to, put, to push one across the becker. Bang! Carsten Fisher. One all. Yes, if you give Germany that many shots at goal, sooner or later they're going to hit a penalty corner in. So one all, let's call it an honourable draw. Richard Agus, what did you think of the game? Well, we said before the game was going to be tough, and it was. Carsten Fisher got a yellow card, Paul Lewis got a yellow card, so sort of one all even in the send-off stakes. Uh, Australia really struggled a little bit after half-time and lost their way there for about 10 or 15 minutes. But the defence, which we've talked about in Nepal, was just so good with York and Carey and Walk and Deletti at the back. They were just fantastic and it's put a lot of pressure. Now let's talk about what this does in the standings. Well, it really doesn't make much difference.